guess, mm -hmm. well, can you just take us through kind of what the emotions are, are kind of like after, after that goal went in? Um, I think it's pretty tough for us to just work so hard and then have it taken away from us. But I know that they're looking forward to next year already and they're getting ready for next year. So they're moving on now. Coach, you just general thoughts on the game. Obviously, you played well to both halves and had a couple chances late, especially through Maddie. You just talk about what you saw in the game and how, obviously how frustrating loss this is. Yeah, I mean, the credit to Northwestern, they're a good team. I mean, we knew that coming in. They're a good team. They're well organized defensively. Frustrating part is we had probably more of the shots, more of the ball. We knew what they were going to do. They're pretty predictable. That's, not, that's no disrespect, but they do it well. I mean, they counter, they get numbers behind the ball, and we want, let one slip there at the end. I mean, um, so overall, I mean, we played well. I mean, it just uh, it's part of the game sometimes, the fact that it goes down and seven minutes and double overtime, but uh, girls, they'll rebound. We'll be fine, and uh, I'm super proud of this group. To say we won 14-6, and six, nobody, even in this room, outside of our team, even thought we'd be at this point, so our heads are up. I know I heard for the seniors, but uh, we will rebound as we did all year. And Courtney, you're a senior as well, right? <coughs> what, what's the legacy, do you think, of this senior class? Um, I don't know how to answer that question. Um, we love this place. We've been able to continue to win the games. We were predicted ninth this year and 11th in another one. We came out third in Pac-12. Uh, all four of us gave it everything we had. We, we, I can say that none of us left anything behind. I'll help them out there. I mean, this is a winning senior class. They've been to the NCAA tournament all four of their years. It doesn't happen a lot. I tell these girls every day, winning is hard. So I'll help them out that this team has been to the, you think it their, their finishes the last couple of years in the Pac-12, and uh, this team continues to get to the NCAA tournament. So this, this senior group knows how to win. They will be hard, hard to replace. And Tom, since you can probably answer this question better, what, what sort of motivator does this have for the team moving forward throughout the offseason? Well, I mean, we're obviously going to be younger now, but uh, we played uh, a lot of players, got some roles, and, and I think some of these kids this year overachieved. Some of the players had to step up. So uh, that's a great motivation for themselves. They've overachieved. They've got minutes. I mean, how many freshmen played this year? A lot. Maddie and Megan and Tia. I mean, the list goes on. So And Ella, I mean, she, this is her first season. I mean, there's not going to be a better goalkeeper than that young lady down in the future for sure. So they'll build on this, and, and as I said, they'll rebound for sure, and they'll be ready to go when – the time comes after we take some time off here. So on the phone, Courtney, did you guys say anything to the younger players? Obviously, since this is your final game here, did you tell them even the last thing you want to play to them? Obviously, I know it's kind of a tough night to do that, but is there anything you guys said to the team after the game? I think <clears throat> as of tonight, we just said our goodbyes, but I know we have time with them in the spring, and we'll be their leaders still. Yeah, we just we hugged them all goodbye, said goodbye to the field, and. We'll deal with that one later. Todd, what was the sequence of events that led up to that goal? Oh, we just we got countered. We broke down, and uh, they, they again what they were trying to do is they had numbers behind the ball. They got one on a fast break attack, rolled our defender, and off she goes. And, and Ella came up and almost made the save. So it was just a lack of us losing the ball and um, them regaining geography, and then turning and basically slipping one in there. That was, I think, their best look, and unfortunately, it was a goal. I think that was her best chance of the game. Well, one of the best. I mean, yeah, she's one one on the keeper, so I don't know what's better than that. I mean, you're one one on the goalkeeper. Do you think you guys had any better opportunities than that? No, I mean that's the best opportunity of the game because again, she's one versus one dribbling the goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. I think we had better the shots, but let's be fair, both teams, the shots, even though we we outshot them. A lot of long-range shots. I mean, both teams have good defenses. So it was one of those games that's going to come down to that. I mean, honestly, I thought what was going to happen was going to go to PKs. I didn't think any team was going to score when we were in that second overtime. That was my gut. You know, and that's what happens. Anything else? One question? All right. Thank you.